Hello, drummers and other creatures. I was recently scrolling through YouTube shorts. It, it kind of caught me, and I noticed a fantastic groove being played by none other than the wonderful Michael Aloyade, who I spoke to a few months back about his book on Afrobeat drumming. And it's a really cool Afrobeat groove that's based around playing double strokes between the bass drum and the snare. And uh, it's, it's a brilliant sounding groove, but it's also got the sort of raw ingredients that you need technically to be able to play Afrobeat. And I thought it would be a, a good one to look at from the point of view of creating a few exercises to help us develop coordination and then learning the beat itself is really cool. So here's my rendition of the thing and then we'll get stuck in to a little bit of learning. There you go. Now, let's just look at the, the different ingredients and um, then we'll talk about how we combine them together. The first thing is, the way it's played in the, the video, we've got broken sixteenths where the hi-hat's going one and a two and a three and four and a. Now, you might find just that particular part of it is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to explain how to, to develop that uh, coordinationally, if that's a word, and uh, to sort of get that going. Um, but if you play this as just straight eighth notes on the hi-hat, the groove's going to sound perfectly good. Um, in addition to the hi-hat pattern, we also have an open hi-hat sound on the one and the two, and uh, it sounds like this. Now, between the bass and the snare, as I said, double strokes at the beginning of the pattern. Like this. So. Now, let's look at how we put that all together. Uh, first, by doing some sort of exercise on just this idea of playing the double strokes between the bass drum and the snare. So let's start off with just eighth notes. That's not the pattern that we're going to end up with, but as I said, if that's what you're doing on the hi-hat, you're going to get a great sound anyway. If you, if you want to add the sixteenths to the hi-hat pattern, that's fine, but don't feel rushed if it's not something you're used to yet. just single strokes, bass, bass, snare, snare, with the hi-hat playing one and two and three and four and all the eighths. Now, at this stage, you could add the Tony Allen hi-hat foot trick where he plays a hi-hat stroke but without initiating an open hi-hat sound at the, the top end of things. Uh, I've explained that in the other videos I've made about Afrobeat but it's a kind of cool thing that Tony Allen does that I haven't really seen other drummers doing and uh, once you get the hang of it it's a really uh, useful little way to create a lot of variety in the hi-hat, uh, not something I deal with right now but if you fancy and this isn't happening in Michael Aloye Day's video but you can bring that into the practice now it's on the ands by the way Let's see if we can add those sixteenths. 
feel free, as I said, to skip this bit if it's a little bit beyond what you're used to. Otherwise, you could use this exercise as a way of getting used to playing that pattern. The pattern will be one and a two and a three and a four and a... Oh, I missed one. One and a two and a three and a four and a... So on the double with the snare, you're also playing two strokes with your uh, right hand or your hi-hat hand. Now, let's just go back to the eighths for a second, and we're gonna open the hi-hat this time on the one and the two. I'm not gonna continue uh, operating the hi-hat on the three and the four, so I'm just gonna do uh, use my hi-hat foot for getting those open sounds this time. And if you just practice this um, with the double strokes uh, as I'm doing it here, really pay attention to the, the way you can get different sounds out of the hi-hat. When I'm playing funkier stuff, I tend to play with the tip of the stick on top of the hi-hat cymbals. And to get emphasis, I might just dip the shoulder of the stick into the edge of the cymbals like so. But you can get lots of different sounds by using the stick in different ways. So I invite you to explore that. There's no like particularly right or wrong way to get the sounds that you want. So let's just open hats on the one and the two. Well, I was doing eights. When that's feeling good, you can try and add the 16th on the hi-hat as well. Now, Spend as much time with that as, as you like. You could get into that and really sit with that and listen to yourself very carefully. You can record your progress and listen back and, and see that all your limbs are lining up nicely. Uh, you don't have to do this at the tempo that I'm playing. You can play it a lot slower if you like. Stick with the eighth notes if you like. And you know if you've never played the double strokes like that, that might take a, a while to get used to. I know that I've practice things quite a lot to, to get them going, and I'm not always happy with the results anyway, but, you know, it takes a while. Don't, don't rush. Be patient. Now, let's now turn this into the actual groove I'm presenting. The first two beats, one and a two and a, is exactly as we did in the exercise. Um, then in beat number three, uh, we've got the double bass still, but then the snare on the R of the three. So it's bass, bass, and R. Three, E, and R. With the hi-hat obviously on the three and the and, we're playing eighth notes. Whichever hi-hat pattern you play, the three, third beat has eighth notes. So you'd have this. Now, when we're playing this in the groove, that three, E, and R on the snare is gonna be accentuated. You can play a rim shot. Or you could just accentuate by playing a little bit more snappily on the snare without the rim. Then we're going to play the 4 E an is going to be 4 on the hi-hat, bass is playing the E. And then we've got the, the double with the, uh, the snare there. So the three and four E and will be like this. With the accent and so on thrown in. 
I'm going to, remaining with the eights, I, I kind of lost my thread, I forgot if I'm playing the sixteenths or not, but remaining with the eights, I'm now going to play through the whole pattern slowly, uh, so follow along and let's see if I get this right. sounding okay now all you have to do is then play the Anna on the hi-hat to put the whole thing together and you're gonna play on the one Anna two Anna the three stays as eighth notes and then the four Anna so let, I'll just do the hi-hat pattern one more time in case you missed it the first time I did it so we have this So let's see if we can put that all together this time. If you've mastered it with the eights, you can then try and add the sixteenths. And there, there might be various other ways of approaching getting this together. So that, this is just one way of sort of learning the groove. There are other methods as well, but see if you can follow this. If not, let me know. Comment in the comment section. Here we go. Slowly and hopefully steadily and accurately. Oh, he said. And that's the essence of that. When it starts coming together, have a go doing it a little bit faster. There we have it, Michael Aloya Day's very cool essential Afrobeat groove. Have a go, play through the technical exercises first and then have a go at putting that together in the whole pattern. I will include some sort of transcription and I'll put it in the description below so that you can uh, read it as well as watching this video because that's often very helpful and that will be that for today. Let me know what you thought about this. Is this easy to follow? Do you need a different explanation? Would you like to see more Afrobeat content? It seems to be reasonably popular and there's not all that many people covering it. So I'm throwing my, my bit of Afrobeat love and appreciation out there. And I think every drummer that thinks it sounds interesting should have a go. Meanwhile, don't forget to do the old thumbs up thingy Get in touch with me if you'd like some help with your drumming one-on-one. -on -one. I'm available on Zoom. I'm also a human being living in London, so you could come and see me if you're in this neck of the woods, so to speak. Now, probably time for you to go off and play your drums.